Hi, I'm John Fisher. You may also know me from the Physics Doc Johnson Egg Drop video. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to weight lift and stretch correctly so you gain muscle mass without losing flexibility. Before a workout, be courteous to others and apply a nice even layer of deodorant moving up and down as shown. <laughs> Thank you. It is important to stretch before a workout so you don't get injured during a workout. I will be going over some basic stretches. One of the most important muscles to stretch is your hamstring. This is a basic hamstring stretch where your partner will bend your leg back towards your head slowly. Watch as he casually gets my leg back towards my head. It's a nice stretch. Nah. Another important stretch is to stretch your quadriceps. This can be done by pulling your foot behind your back slowly. Always make sure to have a spotter. The first exercise is the bicep curl. This strengthens your bicep and your pec. This is how not to do the bicep curl. You don't want to be getting your whole body into it. You just want to isolate the bicep and the pec. So make sure your back is straight and you don't move. You just move your arm up and down. A spotter is someone who watches you lift weights so you don't get injured. There are five qualities that make up a good spotter. One, caring. Two, unselfish. Three, attentive. Four, nurturing. Five, calm. These next lifts I'll be demonstrating all need the supervision of a spotter. Next I'll be demonstrating a basic lift called the bench press. This works your shoulders, triceps, and pecs. Before the lift, I will tell my spotter, one, two, three, lift, and then he will lift it, and I will start the workout. One, two, three, lift. <gasps> now that the bar is above me, I will slowly lower it to my chest while breathing in. While go moving up, I will breathe out like this. <laughs> Providing explosion. Do as many repetitions as prescribed. Next, I'll be demonstrating the squat. It is a lift that will increase the amount of muscle in your legs as well as strengthen your core. During a squat, it's important to keep your shoulder blades squeezed together and your back arched as you go down towards the ground to where your legs make a 90 degree angle and then back up, while breathing out, of course. During a squat, the bar will be on your back and your feet should be evenly spaced, shoulder width apart, like so. Next, I will demonstrate three reps of parallel squatting, with a spotter, of course. It's always important to have a spotter while squatting because this is a dangerous lift, but there are rewards. a pull up. This works your arms and core. You start by going, being above the bar, then dropping down to where your arms are, <laughs> are fully extended, and then lifting yourself back up above the bar, coming back down. Stop. Next will be a side view of the pull up, with a spotter of course. So we'll start above the bar, then come down to where your arms are fully extended, then go back up. Come back down. <laughs> it's important to be supportive when weightlifting, so always encourage others. If you see a person struggling, this is what you should do to help them. Good job. Let's go. Come on. Additional supportive comment. <laughs> the last segment of this video will be covering post-workout stretches. It is important to stretch after a workout so you don't lose flexibility. <laughs> the first stretch is after a leg workout. It's called the Iron Cross. You lay on your back on the cross and bring your right, your right foot up to your left hand and your left foot up to your right hand and repeat this as much as necessary. It stretches out your hip flexors and that's basically it. The next stretch I'll be explaining is also to be used after a leg workout. It's called the scorpion, which is an iron cross, cross on your stomach. Bring your right leg up to your left arm, your left leg up to your right arm. Repeat as much as necessary. 
The next stretch is for your arms. It stretches your latissimus dorsi. It's called a, a pull lat stretch. Put your arms on the bar. Go down like you're doing a squat. Keep your arms straight. It stretches right in here. Feels real good. <laughs> Thank you. The next stretch is called the wall pec stretch. It stretches out your pecs after doing workouts such as bench press and curl. Put your palm flat on the wall. Keep your arm flat on the wall. And slowly rotate out, stretching your pec muscle so you don't lose flexibility. After an intense workout, many weightlifters like to take a protein supplement, which helps build muscle, repair the muscle, and decrease soreness. I don't have protein, but this is gravy, so it's the next best thing. Good. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot about the importance of stretching and using proper technique. Thank you.